Hello friends. First off, I have to admit, I'm a little bit jealous today. Jealous of my friend and neighbor, Sherwood. I'm not jealous of Sherwood because he's better looking than me or because he has more friends than I do. I'm jealous of my friend Sherwood because he's been looking for a new GMRS mobile radio to put in his Jeep. And he was lucky enough to get his hands on the brand new, just released, Wuxon, pronounced Ocean, KG1000G GMRS 50 watt mobile radio. So I wanna do a quick overview of the KG1000G GMRS radio, show you what comes in the box. I'm not gonna do an unboxing video because unboxing videos are stupid, but I'll show you what you get. I'm gonna go over some really nice features of the radio. We're gonna show you how and where Sherwood decides to mount his in his Jeep. It's not gonna be a full installation video, but just to give you an idea of how easy the installation hopefully is. And we're gonna do a quick range test so you can get an idea of how far you can talk on one of these radios and how it sounds. KG1000G is a 50 watt mobile GMRS radio. It is fully FCC Part 95E compliant for use on GMRS frequencies. You do need a license to use this radio. The FCC has just announced that they've lowered the price of licenses. It used to be $70 for 10 years. I saw an announcement that they are now lowering that to $35. I'm not sure if that's for 10 years or only five years, but I've seen mixed things online. Some people, one guy just posted that he just got his license and it was still $70. So. They apparently will be lowering the price for the GMRS license. I'm not sure when, but it's coming soon. Wuxon is pronounced ocean. The W is silent and the X is pronounced sh. So it's the ocean KG1000G radio. 50 watts or up to 50 watts, repeater capable, and it's got some cool features. Let's take a look. You can get the radio from buy2wayradios.com or from their Amazon site. This radio is built by spec for them by Ocean. So there are affiliate links down below for this radio so you can price shop it on Amazon or order one. The price for this radio is about $300. So this is not a budget radio. This is a high quality radio. So Sherwood has let me borrow his radio. I asked him if I could borrow it to have a look at it and do a review and show you. Uh, I plugged it in, powered it up on my Jackery 12 volt solar power supply just so I could see how it worked what some of the options were. I wasn't able to transmit on it because I don't have an antenna for it, but we will transmit and do some tests after he gets it installed in his Jeep. So when you get the Wuxong KG1000G in the box, you will find an owner's manual. Now Sherwood said that he got an email saying that some of these may not come with the printed owner's manual because it's a brand new radio. They just started shipping it. So if you don't get the owner's manual, you will get a CD-ROM with the owner's manual on it. They just released this radio 30 or 60 days ago. It's brand new on the market. So the Chirp software probably does not yet work with it because it's brand new, but Ocean does have software that you can use to program it from your computer. But I've gone through all the menus and it is really easy to program yourself. Really, there's not much to it. There's settings that are either on or off or you pick a setting. Things like setting a repeater because it is a repeater capable radio are really simple. All you need is the tone for the repeater. You go in using the microphone, I'll show you that in a second, and you just select your tone from the list and you're pretty much done. It's, it's very easy to use radio. What else you get in the box? You get some mounting hardware. Here's a microphone mount and some little screws, all the stuff you need. I'm not gonna open that up because obviously Sherwood hasn't installed this in his Jeep yet and I don't wanna lose any bits that he may need. It's a mounting bracket. It comes with these little plates. I'm gonna talk more about these in a second because these have to do with one of the best features of this radio. It comes with this cable, which looks like a regular ethernet cable. It's got RJ45 connectors on it. I'll show you more what this is for in a minute. You will get a microphone, which you can use to fully control the radio. And of course, the reason you came, the radio itself. So first let's talk about these different little brackets that come with it. The radio out of the box comes with the faceplate, I don't know if you can see it, at a slight upward angle. You can remove this whole piece, this whole front piece. I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna screw up Sherwood's radio. I'm, I don't wanna break it. If anybody's gonna break it, he should be the one to break it. But that whole piece is removable and you can use the different mounting plates to change 
the orientation or, or the angle. So you've got an option to remove it and make it so it's a flat up and down angle, or, and this is a great option, you can remove it completely and by using this cable, remotely mount the faceplate in a different location from the radio itself. So you can put this under your seat or wherever, and you've got this, I don't know how long it is, but it looks at least 10 or 15 feet long. Using the cable, you can mount the faceplate in the control panel, the LCD, somewhere else. That is a great option, that makes me jealous. The radio itself uh, feels like it's made out of steel. It is very heavy duty, it's, it's, I don't know how much it weighs, but it's, it's got some heft. It is somewhat larger than the other 50 watt radio that we reviewed that I have in my Jeep. All of the metal, it seems to be a, a big heat sink because I know this type of radio can generate a lot of heat. So I'm assuming it's big on purpose like that to operate as a heat sink. It has two speakers internally. On the back, you'll find the fan, and using the programming of the radio, you can control how and when that fan turns on. Got a single PL259 or SO239, whatever that's called, regular antenna. It's got jacks for two external speakers. It's got a plug here for programming with your computer. Again, using the Ocean software, it's not yet Chirp compatible. And on the side of the radio here, is where you mount the microphone. It's got several quick function buttons, of which three of them are programmable. The microphone is plastic, but it does feel well made. It has a physical switch to lock and unlock the microphone so you don't accidentally press any buttons. It has a little internal light that you can switch on and off. It has a main button that you use to switch between different channels that you're monitoring. This radio lets you listen to two channels at once. One channel is on side A, the other channel is on side B. You use this to switch between the two for transmitting. If you don't like that option of listening to two channels at once, you can easily disable that in the menus. All the menu options and everything in the radio are really easy to use. Programming at repeater is super simple. All you need is the tone. You basically go into that channel, select the tone from the list, and you're done. It's, it's really easy. On the side, there is a monitor button so that you can bypass the squelch to hear everything on the air. And the push to talk button, which you use to push to talk on the radio. On the top, there's a transmit and receive light. And another feature that I really like about this radio, in addition to the two fairly large speakers inside the radio, there's a speaker in the microphone and there's a volume control that you use to turn it up and down. It's really handy if the internal speakers aren't loud enough or you're on the freeway, your Jeep is really loud, just hold it up to your ear and listen. That's a really nice feature. Now you can also use this radio to monitor UHF frequencies. You can't transmit on those frequencies. Because this radio is FCC part 95 compliant, it will only allow you to transmit on channels and frequencies you're allowed to transmit on and at power levels that you're allowed to transmit on. You can program in different frequencies to monitor. You can listen in on all the NOAA channels and you can scan through them. So it's really more than just a GMRS only radio. So that's a quick overview of the radio itself. Now I have to take it back over to my friend Sherwood. He's going to install this radio in his Jeep. We'll get the antenna tuned and set up. And then we'll do a quick range test to give you an idea of how far you can talk on one of these radios and how it sounds. Probably shouldn't have closed the hood yet till I made sure that we're good, but let's give it a test. Make sure the power's working. There we go. Lights up. Very nice. We'll mess with all that in a little bit. I'm going to tuck the wires away, get the antenna hooked up, and then we'll go mount the antenna. Now we're ready for the range test. I am at the corner of Euclid Avenue and Pine Avenue in Southern California. That's uh, California State Route 83 and Pine Avenue. Sherwood is way up there at the top of that peak there, or al almost at the top of that peak, 26.6 miles away. This will be a simplex radio to radio test. We're not using repeaters. You may recall a few months ago, we did a GMRS range test with the GMRS radios in my Jeep and my wife's Jeep. And I think we came out at 24 or 25 miles. And a few people commented on that YouTube video that that test, that range was impossible. 
simply beyond the rules of physics without using a repeater. One person went so far as to call me a liar that the whole test was fabricated. So my response to that particular person is, you know, sometimes it just, you're an idiot. So what these people failed to put into their calculations when they were crunching the numbers in their Fisher Price calculators is the elevation. So on a flat plane, the curvature of the earth will limit how far you can talk because the radio signals can only go so far and then the earth is curved and but if one of those radios is up here, you can talk further. I want to give some more detail on exactly where we are and what we're doing here so that there's no more confusion. Because honestly, I hate deleting stupid comments. So Sherwood is at Marshall Peak, 4,006 feet elevation. I am at uh, California State Route 83 and Pine Avenue. Just, I can see Chino Airport from here. It's right there. He's at 4,006 feet. I'm at, uh, I think my elevation here was about 500 feet. So he's way above me. And 26.6 miles away, straight line as the crow flies. That's not driving distance, that's straight line from here right to there. So this is gonna be a near perfect conditions test. I can see that mountain where he is. He could see me. If I waved and he had binoculars, he'd be able to see me. So this is perfect conditions. There's nothing between the two of us. Radio to radio. He's using the new Ocean KG-1000G. He's got it set at 50 watts. He's got the large Browning BR-450 antenna. I'm gonna use... Channel mode one, six. Oh, I love that Ocean lady. Doesn't she sound nice? I'm gonna be using my uh, Ocean handheld. Now they sent me this a few weeks ago. I did a review on it, but that is Sherwood's uh, KG-1000G that we're going to be testing. We're both set at channel GMRS channel 16. So let's see what happens. This is, oh, and uh, we are going to be using our call signs as required by FCC regulations, but we're going to edit them out because there's no YouTube regulations that says you have to know my call sign. Sherwood, do you copy? Loud and clear, Randy. All right, give me an audio check. Just uh, reply back and give me a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Check one, two, three, four. So you're on camera right now. Can you describe to the viewing audience where you are? I am in San Bernardino on a peak called Marshall Peak where they do a lot of hang gliding off of. Very clear day. Hey, what's that radio you're using? It sounds great. Yeah, it's a new one I, that they just came out with that uh, on your recommendation, I figured I'd better grab one. It's hard to pronounce, but it's spelled W-O-U-X-U-N. All right, so you sound good here. Um, I'm kind of surprised it works. Stand by one minute. Right to that. All right, so I'm surprised and I'm not surprised. Based on the tests we've done, the range tests before, with uh, mobile radio to mobile radio, I, I knew we had a good chance of reaching each other. What I wasn't sure of was this little handheld ocean with uh, only like five watts, would he be able to hear me? 26 miles, now the reason we're only 26 miles is because in the Inland Empire of Southern California, you really cannot go more than 25 or 26 miles in any one direction without running into another mountain. So I've run into the mountains, I'm in Chino, uh, Basically at Prado behind me now or further past where I am is Prado Dam and there, there's mountains. I know just based on that signal level that we could talk a lot further. So the Ocean KG-1000G 50 watt mobile GMRS radio, 26.6 miles to the Ocean KG-805G 5 watt radio. 26 miles, again, near perfect conditions. It's rare that you would have conditions this perfect out in the field when you're off-roading, but it gives you an idea of what kind of range you can get on GMRS. Let me know if you have any questions, if this test was flawed, or uh, if you want to call me a liar like that other moron did. Just tell me why, explain why, post your math for why I'm wrong or if this is impossible down below. Uh, if you've done tests with your GMRS, GMRS radio and you've gotten better uh, results, I'd love to hear about it. If you like this video, 
give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you on the trail.